Hey Capricorn, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your mid-June reading, so let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. All right, we have Page of Wands, Three of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Four of Wands, The Devil. Okay, you're showing up. Knight of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So right now I feel like your friendships, your family, um, the people that are close to you, the people that you care about, your work, all of those things, um, everything that affects and surrounds the home, I feel like that right now is very important to you, very, um, you know, in line with what you're doing. I feel like you, you're trying to accomplish something here where you're, you feel a sense of harmony between the things that you do for yourself and then the things that you do for others. I feel like there's a need to create that balance. And for some reason, that's what I'm getting here. I feel like right now you may be also um, hoping maybe to find an opportunity to, it's almost like you want to put something in motion, but it requires more than just you putting in effort. And I feel like you're trying to figure out, okay, how do I get this started? How do I um you know get other people involved so that i could finally see this happen and i feel like you're finding a way to do that because with the page of wands and the six of pentacles i feel like this is you trying to create that balance this is you finding the way finding um, some sort of strategy that you can utilize to bring two or three or more people together to um, work towards a common effort so this could be something like maybe you want to create your own business or maybe you want to do something um, you know, within your family or maybe amongst your peers. And it's like, you want to start a project of some sort, but you need more than one person or you need, um, it's like a group mindset is necessary for this to happen. And I feel like the three of cups could also be you trying to start this by talking about it, maybe bringing this idea up to other people and saying, Hey, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? It's like, you want this to be a collective effort. I feel like you're really looking for that give and take as far as energy and you're hoping that if you can you know get them excited about it or if they can see the the benefit of this that it would be like a no-brainer so i just feel like for some reason that's what's coming through you're trying to establish something and you want everyone involved to kind of see see the value in it the way that you see the value in it okay so i hope i'm making sense there with the two of cups and the four of wands i feel like when it comes to some sort of connection or relationship i feel like you're really hoping to see something happen where you feel like the potential of this is not just potential so when it comes to a part partnership or a friendship or someone in your life that you're trying to get closer to i feel like you're really wanting to solidify what your intentions are with this person so this could be you maybe proposing to someone maybe this is you saying hey i want this to be our story or i want this to be our outcome it's almost like you're making a promise to somebody here and you're telling them exactly how you feel but you're also telling them what you expect or what you want out of the relationship, you know? So I feel like this is you really taking initiative and saying, hey, I know that we've been doing this for this long or, you know, I know that we we know each other, we like each other or, you know, anything like that. But I, I really want to get to this point. I feel like this is you clearly stating your expectations. And I feel like that person is going to give you the response that you're looking for because I do feel like there's a directness involved with this energy the knight of swords and the devil comes through to me as your energy and you moving with that directness i feel like you're very honest at this time and i feel like everything you do you're doing it with integrity with transparency and honesty and that's why i feel like your partnerships and whatever you're trying to start here i feel like they're going to be successful because you're doing it with the right energy from the very beginning you know so when it comes to this person for example i feel like you're not telling them anything that is going to surprise them i feel like you're just being very you know direct and and you expect the same in return which is why i think that it's so important that you know you do take this opportunity to to set your expectations or to tell them what you want because i feel like this person may not know what you want right like maybe they're not aware of how far you're willing to go in this connection but you stating it will give them that same kind of um interest to kind of give you their perspective about this connection so 
With the Eight of Pentacles, I also feel like this is you putting a lot of effort into something. I feel like you're waiting for something to pay off here. And I think this has to do with something you've been working on for a very, very long time. This could be a work thing. It could be a project. Um, but I do see that you're really putting effort and I do think it is going to pay off. But again, I feel like this is something that you need others to collaborate. Or maybe this is something that, um, you know what, let's, let's clarify. With the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck, I feel like the reason why I'm getting tripped up is because there is this underlying energy of like feeling defeated or feeling exhausted. And so I think with that, it's been very difficult to kind of see the point where all of this effort kind of turns into something else. Because right now, I just feel like you're weighed down by how tired you are or how how much effort it's taken. I feel like you're not able to enjoy the process of this hard work because you're focusing on how you feel. Um, not that that's a bad thing, but it's just like, it's very heavy. You know, the energies are, it's kind of like that feeling of, oh, you know, I'm I'm right there, but you know, I feel so worn out. So let's see what we can get. Let's clarify the Eight of Pentacles. All right, Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So this definitely has to do with something that you're trying to expand. Again, from the beginning, I feel like from the beginning of the reading I've been picking up on something that you are trying to do but I feel like it's for not just your benefit but it's almost like this could benefit so many people or it could just give you the opportunity to really bring in more abundance in your life and I feel like because it is so important I feel like you're not really maybe you're just feeling the pressure or you're feeling like you're being I don't know I just feel like you're being too hard on yourself but let's see to clarify the aid of pentacles we have ace of pentacles the world and the ten of swords again the fact that the ace of pentacles and the ten um sorry and the world is coming out to me this is that new offer new opportunity that could change everything but again there's something here about you feeling defeated for some reason so this ten of swords you know what i don't even think it's defeat i just feel like you may be feeling the stress you know i feel like things may be may be seeming overwhelming because maybe there's a lot of steps involved so maybe this ten of wands isn't necessarily wands but maybe it's steps you know maybe you're doing something that it does require a lot of effort and maybe it's not a two or three step thing maybe it's something that involves a lot of time a lot of energy and a lot of steps or you know different levels and maybe right now all that you're experiencing is the stress of what you're doing but at the end of the day i do feel like you just have to keep going i feel like consistency here is going to be your superpower because what is coming towards you is going to be it's going to be a major life-changing opportunity and i feel like right now you may just be feeling the pressure but i think that this is exactly what you need to be doing i feel like this present this opportunity has been presented to you for a reason and capricorn i feel like sometimes you put so much pressure on yourself because you know you want to do things correctly and i get that but you are exactly where you need to be you're doing your absolute best and i feel like you also have a great deal of support around you i feel like maybe another thing here that i'm seeing and picking up on is the fact that you actually are not very good at asking for help sometimes okay so maybe what you're doing it may seem to you that there's no way anyone else could help you maybe this is actually something that i've been reading wrong this whole time maybe you feel that this is such a personal thing that no one could possibly help you get through this quicker but maybe there's something that someone else can do maybe just talking about this right maybe just telling people what you're going through maybe somebody that is close to you and cares about you has a solution that you didn't think of i feel like this is about you opening up to the possibilities of receiving help when you're feeling you know so defeated and maybe stressed out because I, I honestly feel like you're not allowing yourself to see how amazing this opportunity is or maybe there's something about you not being able to truly enjoy the process because you're so focused on the outcome and not really able to just kind of let yourself go through the motions, you know? Hmm, interesting. I feel like I've completely, you know, kind of read the reverse of this until now and I'm finally understanding. All right, let's clarify the devil. Let's see what your energy gives us. Okay, fool at the bottom of the deck. 
So with your energy, I do feel like you're taking a risk here, but it's really more coming through as you taking a leap of faith and trusting that something is going to work out no matter how hard how hard it is but that's the thing sometimes you have that mindset and then other days you're like oh i need to do more i need to do better it's like you you kind of flip-flop between being content with the process and then being hard on yourself so uh, we also have queen of wands queen of pentacles and ace of swords i feel like the ace of swords is coming through as you receiving some sort of message or maybe this is advice or some sort of information will come through from what i can see is a divine feminine energy maybe this is you receiving advice from a friend from a um you know your mother or maybe this is your wife i don't know somebody here is coming through with divine feminine energy that is you know very grounded very stable very independent and also very nurturing i feel like somebody here is really wanting to provide you with a sense of calm stability um, and comfort. I feel like somebody here really wants you to feel comfortable. And I feel like the Ace of Swords, again, is going to be that message that comes through from this person that gives you a sense of like, okay, you know what? Maybe I don't have to do this alone. Maybe I'm actually in the right place. Maybe I need to just believe in myself and, and not let the stress of it get to me. So I just feel like this message is going to be super helpful in helping you get through this because again, the outcome is going to be amazing. You're, you're really embarking on something here that is life-changing but the way that you're seeing it right now i can tell that there's tension right there's heaviness but overall i feel like this is going to be super helpful and the moment you hear it you're going to go back to feeling like okay i'm ready to keep going on in this journey that i've chosen to trust in but definitely uh almost like a roller coaster of emotions so i'm gonna leave it there i hope you like this reading hope it was helpful and if it if it resonated and if I could talk, uh, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.